If you want to learn today about Amazon Code Whisper and how you can install and run it on your Visual Studio Editor, you are in the right place. Today I'm going to share with you an amazing tool that AWS shared with us. It's called Amazon Code Whisper. Together with Amazon Q, it's making your productivity 10 times better. It allows you to auto-complete your code, to generate new code, to ask questions and all of that inside your Visual Studio Editor and today I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step how you can do it, how you can install, sign up to the uh, uh, Amazon Code Whisper and eventually start to generate code with uh, Python, with JavaScript, with PHP, whatever program language you like and all of that for free. Not like uh, GitHub Copilot that is $10 a month, this tool is for free. All you need is a Visual Studio install on your computer and that's it, so stay tuned, we're about to start, feel free to follow for more amazing tutorial. Welcome back guys and thank you for keep watching. So in order to start our tutorial today, you only need a Visual Studio and what you're gonna, gonna do, you're gonna go to the extension bar and you're gonna search for AWS, okay? And this is the first extension that you have, it's called AWS Toolkit, it's including Amazon Q, Code Whisper and more uh, tools that I'm not going to review. I'm going to review today Amazon Q and Code Whisper and how it will improve your productivity five times, ten times better than what we have right now. So after you pressing install, you need to start the sign up uh, process. If it's not initiate start like it happened to me because I already did it before, you can press on the AWS icon that you have on the left and then you go to sign in to in order to get started. Very easy, very simple. Once you press this option, it's gonna open you a new Windows, okay? And this is the Windows that you're gonna get if it's you're installing for the first time. So once you have this Windows, you're gonna do use use it for free with the AWS Builder. Proceed to a browser and remember this code because it's gonna ask you in the browser and you just press open. And that's it, it's open your browser with the uh, installation instruction, with the authorization request, just to confirm. And now we're gonna sign up if you don't have an account. I'm gonna use my uh, SaskLab email. You can use whatever email that you have. Okay, perfect. Once you enter your email, just press next and it will continue with the sign up process. And then it will ask you your name. You can add whatever name that you want, press next. And it's gonna send you verification code to your email. So this is the verification code that I got. Verify. And one last step is basically add a password. Uh, so we're gonna now uh, choose a password. And we're pretty much uh, almost done. This is the last step. Okay. Let's enter the password and the confirm password. Okay, I think I have their invalid password. Yeah, I need to have a uh, uppercase uh, letter. Okay, perfect. Let's, let's create AWS Builder uh, account. And that's it, guys. Once you created your AWS uh, Builder uh, ID, just press allow. And you can go back to your Visual Studio. As you can see right now, we, gave a, we get a confirmation that everything is okay and it's installed. Okay, let's go and in a few more seconds you're gonna see notification that I'm getting in the Visual Studio Editor. Boom! As you can see, connect to Amazon Q and Code Whisper. So perfect, we did the first step, we installed AWS Toolkit with Amazon Code Whisper and Amazon Q. And if you guys don't know what is Amazon Q, I just released a new video about what is Amazon Q on my YouTube channel. You can go and review it, it's amazing, chat GPT like experience but even better because you connect like more than 30 different database and services to this and it will help you with AWS services too. So with this extension, you're getting the AWS autocomplete with code a wish pair and you also get Amazon Q inside your editor. You can also scan for uh, up to 50 security scan a month for free without charge, okay? And you can pass it, um, you can stop it if you don't, don't want it to run, you have this option. But let's go, let's start and review our autocomplete and how it works. I'm going to create now a Python a script, 
uh, sorry, Python file, and I'm going to show you with Python, with JavaScript, and with PHP how it's work. Give you example, and you can choose whatever uh, programming language language you like in order to use the AWS Code Whisper. So now I'm going to ask him. I'm going to instruct him uh, the same as the way that GitHub Pilot working. I'm going to ask him to generate me a Twitter fetch function uh, in Python, and pretty much that's it. I'm going to press enter and here it's like give me line by line and you're going to see now that in like few more seconds I just will start to type like a def function or just starting to uh, write def and it start to complete me, it's writing me the function name and in a few more seconds it's going to generate me the Twitter fetch uh, code in Python that you can choose and play and also choose different uh, autocomplete with the error that you have okay you can accept the uh, uh, option with tab you can accept the word or the line as you can see right now and you can also press the error and you can choose up to five different uh, example with autocomplete that will help you to generate the twitter fetch function okay i'm gonna choose the first one and I'm gonna press tab, and that's it, guys. In a few seconds, we have a Twitter fetch function in Python. We don't want to. We don't need to know anything. We don't need to go to the internet. We don't need to search. In Stack Overflow, everything in our um, Visual Studio. And now it also will give us example how to uh, actually run it. I'm just pressing Enter and Tab, Enter and Tab. I'm not writing anything. This is how beautiful it is. So we finish with the first step, and now. What you have the option to do, let's say we wanted to write the same function, but I want it in JavaScript. So this is where we can use also Amazon Q. Okay, we can use Amazon Q by choosing uh, our code and send to Amazon Q. We can also do explain, refactor, fix, optimize, and send the prompt. And now we have like ChatGPT experience that is uh, unique and niched on developing scripting and general question about aws and technolo technological question so here i'm asking him to switch this example to javascript let's say i want to write it in the, the backend in javascript and in a few seconds it will generate me the same code in different language and you can choose whatever programming language that you want so now i'm gonna basically uh, choose the language javascript and i'm gonna do insert uh, insert as it is and that's it it's passed me the code i don't even need to do control c control v i have this example in javascript in few seconds without coding anything without going to the internet everything in visual studio with amazon code whisper and amazon q and also for free no charge Okay, next you can also choose, um, let's say you are uh, you're working with Laravel and, or you're working with WordPress and you're using a PHP. It can also do the same thing with PHP and as you can see it's already autocomplete me. I will give him uh, other uh, code to generate, generate me a code that fetch uh, information from YouTube. Okay, whatever you guys uh, feel. Uh, the courage to ask him just do that don't give a you know just ask the question or describe him what you want and the amazon code whisper basically in a few seconds will generate you the code as you can see i didn't did anything i didn't did control c copy anything give me an example perfect amazing i know that's why i'm sharing this with you if you like it please uh uh, like subscribe but let's go on with our uh, tutorial what i need to do right now just pressing enter and it's also give me a way to uh, run this uh, example in php as you can see so all i need to do is just access to this uh, php file from the browser or from the terminal and that's it and of course changing the api and all of that thing but it's make me a uh, working code in a matter of second now, as I said before, Amazon Q is also your friend, is a chat GPT-like experience, uh, but it's for free, and you can ask him a lot of questions that you want to know more about technical uh, term. For example, uh, if he can explain me about what is REST API or any other question that you are encountered during your programming or during your uh, 
building a project and you don't want to live and go to uh, Google or to the browser. It's everything in one place. And this is what I love about this new AWS uh, toolkit with code wish pair and with Amazon Q. It's making you 10 times more productive than what you are without it. And it's for free. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching and follow to the rest of the video. Please like, subscribe and leave comment below and keep following because I'm gonna release more and more amazing videos about AI, about AWS, about DevOps, about a lot of interesting stuff. Thank you so much.